So initially, in preparing for this talk, I thought I would start by introducing myself, my expertise, or what I'm known for. I quickly realized I'm not exactly known for anything, or for having a particular niche or specialty. Objectively, I'm a nobody. One thing I do know about nobodies is that there is always a longing to be somebody or something greater than what you are right now. I stand in front of you this evening, I notice there are a lot of students in front of me. That's one thing that we have in common. Another thing that I'm pretty certain that we all have in common this evening is that you're all people filled with dreams, ambitions and desires. And if I told you that I'm your genie for this evening, granting you one wish, your wish would most likely involve a circumstance that empowers your current quality of living. Certain things may include having a whole lot of money, successful relationships, or excelling in your academics. Call it whatever you like, whether it's instincts, desires, or destiny. You essentially long to be living at your highest possible capability. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I'm not here to grant you your wish. But I'm here to talk about how many of us tend to only perform at half of our capability. And there's a reason for this. This essentially stems from the way in which we suppress our creative expression. But what exactly is that? Well, when the term creative expression comes to your mind, you instantly picture a person with a paintbrush or a piano, someone sat, sat in a studio somewhere, or in deep introspection as they write profound words on a piece of paper in aims to change the world. This isn't exactly the case. I also blurted out some of the words that come to my mind when I imagine the term creative expression. It looks a bit like this. This also wasn't quite enough for me. You see, defining a term such as this is too limiting. It would be wrong to set a boundary to its use or constrain it in any set direction. Instead, I want you to view creative expression as a spectrum, one that every single person, including you and me, are a part of. So believe it or not, you create and have created many things during your life. From as small as every joke you say, every text message you send, every dish you try to cook was initially sparked here in your mind in the form of an idea. I will place these in this aspect of the spectrum here. Yeah. On the other hand, you will have most certainly consumed the many creations that are available to you. You see, being able to consume requires a certain level of receptivity to be sensitive to the intricacies of life around you. From your favorite book or song, that one sunset that you admired, that one compliment you received from that person years ago and that still sticks with you today was again sparked right here in your mind, usually evoked as some kind of emotion. Now both ends of the spectrum work hand in hand and not independently of each other to bring our creative expression into fruition. But I don't want you to focus on these extremities because you are neither a creator nor consumer by definition. I want you to focus on the medium that lies in between because this is where the magic is happening. You see, creative expression is a dynamic interaction. It's a phenomenon that is constantly changing. It is a string that interlinks all people in this room and it bridges the gap between the mind and the outside world. Creative expression is an ability, not a skill. It can't be implemented or taken away, but it can be amplified or suppressed. At heightened levels of creative expression, you can tap into your innate genius and align with behaviors that allows you to inspire others and bring a certain aura to social situations. But of course, with things like this, we have, all, we have, always we have end up managed to des design systems of living that suppress our creative expression. Let's take a look at some of these. Well, modern day schooling systems have become breeding grounds for disciplined and obedient students. An environment that promotes discipline but suppresses expression is also an environment that makes very little room for expression. There is not much place for the one who questions things and explores. In fact, students such as these are often branded as being easily distracted to themselves and to others. A study was conducted on children and their cognitive development which showed that which showed that from the ages of 14 months to five years, these children would ask on average of 107 questions per hour. But by the time they got to the ages of nine and 10, there were two hour stretches where students would not ask a single question. It is a tragic misstep that we are weaned out of this essential fuel that flames the very essence of creative expression. We must bring back this very thirst for knowledge. But why? Well. Curiosity is a transaction with our surroundings that sparks a cascade of thoughts and ideas in our brain. 
the importance of this is that it actually involves both the creator and consumer elements of the spectrum. In doing this, we're completing the full circle and thus uplifting our creative expression to increased heights. There's a simple practice that we can implement to bring back this innate drive for curiosity. I like to call this the rule of two. So this was inspired by certain techniques that a lot of you may have implemented yourselves, like active recall. All this is is that by the end of your next interaction, whether this is at the end of your next lecture, or in conversation with your boss, or in fact, in conversation with absolutely anyone, by the end of it, imagine they will say, are there any questions? Actively digging out two questions in your mind, whether or not you end up asking them, subconsciously invokes your creator and consumer elements. Again, you are completing the full circle. In doing this, you are uplifting your creative expression, putting in involvement and engagement, and also paying maximum attention to detail. And that is another necessity that allows our creative expression to thrive. Attention to detail. What is this? This is a state of holism where you can attend to information and situations in its absolute without the staining of any misconceptions. In other words, all this means is that you are able to grasp the bigger picture without missing out on any details. There are many things that suppress our attention to detail, and believe it or not, things like our likes, dislikes, opinions and identifications can be things that hinder our vision and stain our judgement. Because imagine this uh, concept as a pair of shades with a lens and tint. Life may look good to you from the inside, but in doing that, you are distorting your views and manipulating your senses. You are no longer viewing reality in its absolute. In a world where everyone takes great pride in their views and set beliefs, why not flip the script and become someone who doesn't take great pride in such things? In doing so, you are no longer distorted by your sense perceptions and thus no longer bound to the illusions of your prejudices. Having clearer vision means you're able to consume life for the way it is and also create in a very natural state. See, let's put it this way. Imagine creative expression being like the water that flows through a stream. Things like your identifications, likes, dislikes, set beliefs means that you are associating everything around you with such things. They're like the debris that hinders the flow of the water. In removing this, the water can flow with a lot more freedom. And one thing about creative expression is that being in a flow state will optimize this function. So there we have it. We have two fundamental concepts that uplift and can be very much suppressed in our creative expression. We may live our lives not knowing that we are suppressing them. However, let tonight be an evening that you realize and become aware of its effects and its importance. And hopefully this evening can be the catalyst to your change for continuous growth and improvement. Thank you very much.